as countries across the globe struggle to fight the COVID-19 pandemic. Governments are calling on their armed forces to play a supporting role to help combat the pandemic. At the most basic level, the military possesses a national command network and constitutes a pool of disciplined manpower, including reserves and many other capabilities that can be deployed at a relatively short notice to supplement civilian frontline service during national crisis. The military also has substantial experience in crisis planning, emergency response, command and control, logistics, and specialist medical support. The Department of Defense and Military Veterans has subsequently deployed a COVID-19 support force under the operation name Opnotlela, placing 6,452 troops and military medical healthcare personnel on high alert, including reservists. Apart from being deployed on the ground in support of the SAPS, SANDF personnel led the repatriation mission to extract South Africans from Wuhan in China. While military aircrafts are being used to transport emergency supplies to hospitals and remote locations across the country. The projection of forces into the fight against this global crisis has driven the military to conduct a change of mission to focus on combating the COVID-19 pandemic while maintaining overall force structure design and operational readiness. Missions of this nature usually require the deployment of forces in a very short period coupled with the rapid rollout of mission-specific readiness training conducted by various military specialists to prepare the soldiers for deployment. By and large, the role of the military in supporting the fight against COVID-19 conforms to the prevailing pattern of civil-military relations. The visibility of the military's involvement also has a reassuring effect that builds psychological resilience. You guys are helping us. People in uniform attract attention, and seeing soldiers assisting in contingencies convey a very clear message. The government is taking action. The deployment of the SANDF is not just about the government's commitment towards addressing the crisis. It also communicates the message that the entire nation is united in overcoming a common adversity. The primary role of the SANDF on the ground in the fight against this crisis is to protect and safeguard the lives of all South Africans while building confidence and trust of those affected and those at risk. The success of this operation also relies on having the community as an ally in the control of the pandemic and not a source of a problem. Past examples, such as the disaster relief efforts after tropical cyclone Idai, the deployment of the South African military health personnel in public hospitals in Mahikeng during the strike by healthcare professionals and the recent deployment of the SANDF deployed to the Cape Flats in 2019 to assist the police to maintain law and order have shown the SANDF's mission effectiveness and the psychological impact of its deployment. In terms of efficiency, the SANDF is an obvious choice for the South African government during such national level crisis. The SANDF is a standing force of able-bodied personnel with a clearly defined chain of command. This means the SANDF can be easily configured into multiple units of different scales for a variety of missions. The chain of command allows information and orders to easily flow up, down and 
across units, enabling the SANDF to respond swiftly, effectively, and flexibly to a range of assigned missions. It is this characteristic of militaries that allow them to be effectively deployed for a range of operations other than war, including disaster relief and anti-piracy patrols. This is in line with the idea of a broader defense mandate, as suggested in the 2015 South African Defense Review. Apart from defending and protecting the country, a strong developmental role is envisaged, such as applying military expertise to assist with projects like the rehabilitation of the Val River between 2018 and 2020. South Africa's military has been deployed in communities across the country to support efforts to contain COVID-19 and help save lives of citizens. In terms of the mission, the Defence Force will, among other duties, protect quarantine sites, deliver food and other essential supplies to mass storage facilities, help police restrict people's movements, conduct roadblocks and curtail unrest. While the SANDF members may make arrests for offences, Suspects must be handed over to the SA Police Service and the principles of minimum force must always be executed with due regard to the need to respect our people's human rights. This is a moment to be supportive to our people. When they see you patrol with your guns, they will be fearful, but make sure that when they see you, they see kindness of the state of South Africa.